Dan, looking at all the explosives that uh, Mississippi State was able to get through the passing mm -hmm. game this past weekend, where where were the breakdowns there, and what can you guys do to address it before you go against this very explosive team you're about to face? Yeah, I mean, we talk about it every week, um, you know, being able to win your 50-50 balls, your 50-50 matchups. Um, you know, that's something we're going to go out to practice and work on today um, a lot and something we've stressed every day. And um, we talk about it every week. The number one way to eliminate explosive plays is uh, your effort, um, you know, and your technique, obviously. But um, the overall effort and running the ball, um, you know, that's how you eliminate explosives. Yeah, Dan, over here. Obviously, everyone knows you walk on here at Georgia. I'm curious if there was ever a moment where you realized not only can I play here, but I can be like a really good football player here. Mm -hmm. And has there been a recollection or a, a thought process that your football journey is not done here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I actually got the chance to answer that question the other day. But um, I think in terms of me, uh, I've always had that confidence and belief in myself. But um, I've, a lot of, I've had a lot of help and support um, through family and friends and coaches along the way who has encouraged me and um, you know given me that confidence too uh, when I might have lacked it. But um, you know, it's it's easier for me when I'm playing against guys who uh, are very similar and, and give it their all every day at practice and um, and just having faith or confidence in them. And then uh, you know, it helps me when I know where my help is on the field and um, you know. And the, just the great coaching staff that we have here. Um, I wouldn't want to be at anywhere else. So. Dan, to your left. Um, is it safe to say when you grew up in this state, your identity to learning about Georgia football was with Coach Rick? No doubt. Uh, <laughs> what he means to, to you, this program, and what he's trying to do with this bullathon to raise money for two worthy uh, institutions? Yeah. Um, you know, it's like you said, watching, growing up watching Coach Rick and um, all the great players that he had. And then, um, you know, he always made an impact to to stress his faith, and that's something that I'm big on. That I'm big on. Um, I know that God's blessed me with all the opportunities that I've been given, um, and at the end of the day, just thanking Him for those. And um, it's like you said, it's, uh, growing up an hour from here, um, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. And I'm just thankful for the opportunity. Dan, I'm sure you'll learn more about Texas as this week goes on. But what do you know at this point about their offense, about what you guys are going to be up against? Yeah, um, you know, it's it's another great SEC opponent. I know that. And they have a very explosive offense, like you said. Um, great skill players, great running back, great quarterback. Um, but thankfully, so, so do we. And um, we see that every week in practice. And uh, it's another week where, um, you know, it's like other, every other week, the, the work that we put in on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday um, is going to give us the confidence to go out there and, um, and do what we need to do. So, Hey, Dan, over here. Uh, how many times have uh, family and friends uh, asked you about the, the comment that Shannon Sharp made about you, that little clip? And how many times have you seen that yourself? And what did you think? Um, yes, sir. I've seen that a lot from uh, from my family and friends. You know, I, um, you know, being being in the position that I'm, I am, I don't, you know, I don't feel like I spend a whole lot of time on social media. I try to limit myself, but um, they send me that. But um, you know, it's it's like every other thing. Um, you know, you can't listen to that um, too much and. And uh, you just got to go to work. So, Dan, what lessons do you hope you guys learn from playing in that Alabama environment and especially mm -hmm. handling it early on? Yeah, um, thankful for the opportunities that we've had this year with those night games already on the road. And um, it's like any other week in the SEC. You got to bring your best and um, nothing different there. So. Dan, can you put into perspective uh, KJ's uh, advancement in this defense. I know it's mm -hmm. a tough defense, and he's a young guy. But what have you seen, and, and what's happening behind the scenes that's allowed him to improve as much as we've seen him improve this season? Yeah, um, I think just being in meetings and um, growing as much as he can, taking notes every day, um, you know, sitting right beside us, just um, working on the small details, and then you know, Coach T. Rob and all of our other coaches do a great job of uh, you know stressing to him and all of us defensive backs. Uh, I mean the importance every week. So. What kind of an opportunity is this for you guys to mm -hmm. go on the road, play a number one team? You guys have been number one team a lot of your career here. Mm -hmm. And what's the role reversal kind of? Um, yeah, it's like you said, it's a great opportunity. And uh, I think it's a lot of the reasons that you choose to come to an uh, institution like this, a place like Georgia. Um, I know it's, it's one of the reasons that I came and I came back. but. Um, you know, it's like you said, we work hard every week just like everybody else. And, uh, 
you know, one thing that my coaches have always told me, it's a, it's a big game because we're in it. And I think that's kind of how we're looking at it too. How it, it seems like Coach Smart is pretty intense on the sidelines during games. I think he is in practice too. How mm -hmm. would you just describe his coaching demeanor and how you guys handle it? Uh, it's, <laughs> it's very intense, um, but it's just another reason that, um, you know, we're always ready to play because the passion and the energy that he comes with every single day, not only on Saturdays, Saturdays but um, college, a sideline on a college football game is a very intense place to be. And, uh, you know, he does a great job of, of – I mean, showing up with intensity and passion. So, thinking about that Alabama game, do you, do you think you guys were, were tight or anxious? And as a kind of a veteran leader, what can you do to alleviate that this time? Um, you know, I don't, you know, like to look back in the past too much, but I think uh, you know every week that throughout the week when we we put in the work on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, um, especially our work days, um, you know, we should be able to cut it loose on Saturdays, and that's what I expect for this weekend. Dan, you mentioned bringing your best every week. Looking back at the Mississippi State game, do you feel like you guys as a defense brought your, your best? Mm -hmm. um, I think we're still, we have still yet to put together a full four-quarter game um, defensively, and um, I'm excited for this weekend to be able to do that. So. And just to follow up on that, what do you feel like as a defense you guys need to do to, to put together that complete game? Um, have a great, great re week of practice. Um, I think that's where it starts, and, uh, and that's where it's been. That's where it's been since I've been here, and uh, you know I think starting today, that's that's what needs to happen. So, Dan, you guys are underdog. I think for the first time in a few years, and uh, does that does that add anything? I mean, I know you're supposed to play the same level every week, but is mm -hmm. is there a little something extra for a game like this going in, knowing that most people expect you guys to lose? Uh, I don't think we're really worried too much about outside expectations. Um, you know, I don't personally believe that we're ever an underdog, but, um, you know, that's, that's kind of how I, you know, it might be how I've been seen throughout my career, but I'm not worried about the guys we have in our room one bit. So. Yeah, Dan, just what, what have the film sessions been like as you've gone back and watched that Mississippi State game? Is it a lot of, of obvious mistakes? Is it you know, some, some effort mistakes like you mentioned earlier? Just what has the feeling been as you've gone back and broken down some of the plays Mississippi State generated? Um, you know, I think a little bit of both. I think there's uh, – we lacked in effort at some times, but um, I think just going back and, and just telling – just being able to look yourself in the mirror um, personally and see what you did wrong, and then um, it just goes back to playing as a unit, knowing where your help is, and um, especially as a back end, just uh, being able to over-communicate. I think that's what's most important going forward. What's the toughest – part of your job when you face a quarterback who completes over 72 percent of his passes mm -hmm. is patient and then can also beat you with his legs yeah um thankfully I, it's like i mentioned earlier we uh you know we're thankful enough at the university of georgia to go against great offenses every single day and um you know with the skilled players and the quarterback that we have um i have complete confidence in our defense and um and I know that the coaches are also going to have a great game, pl game plan for us. So just be able to go out and execute that. Um, and it starts today in practice. So. And we got to see a little bit more of Ellis on Saturday. What kind of progress have you seen from him mm -hmm. as he goes through his freshman year? Yeah, he's a great athlete, great competitor. Um, is what I love seeing most in Ellis. And just, uh, just, just love watching him continue to get better each week at practice and, and competing against these guys. Dan. All right, Dan, thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thanks, Dan.